What's up everybody? Spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights back with another episode of Space Engineers. What is this behind me? Oh, I believe I found diamond. That is amazing. I found diamond ore in space. It does exist. <laughs> so, okay. So, obviously if you haven't figured it out already, um I basically was derping around the other other night. I really like this game. There's a lot you can do. For example, I bet some of you never thought you would be flying a diamond ore block. Did you? No, you probably didn't. Um, but uh, we're going to do that, I think. So let's see. Um, no, not color. How do I rotate? I don't know what's going on with the sound. Um, the sound effects are there. Like, if I pause, it has sound effects, but, like, the music, even though it says I have volume, it's not playing, which is kind of weird. But, whatever. Um, so, let's repaint these. I had used this to mark the center of the block, because I actually did this in Minecraft Dimensions, so it is 16 by 16. So, we're going to place these here. And I have a plan very demented plan, but I want to fly a diamond block of ore. So we're going to do this. I've already um, wired it up on the inside. I can show that in a second if I can find a good spot that doesn't have... Um, uh, that doesn't have the... painted diamond ore area, which was actually surprisingly more time consuming than I expected it to be. About the fifth or sixth time of doing this, it started to get uh, faster. Um, but yeah, it was surprisingly time consuming to do that. Let's put one there. Um, and in case you're wondering why I'm putting them on all sides, this goes back to kind of what I mentioned before in the previous episode, that if you don't have, um, if you don't have the, um, thrusters, that's what I'm looking for, on all sides, and we're going to need a cockpit, I forgot about that, um, oh, Wait, no, this is upside down. Okay. So we want to rotate it like this, I guess. Gosh, the, the 3D side of this is kind of weird. Like, cool, but weird. Crap, it's a 3x3. Three three. I'm not going to get this sucker centered. Dang it. Dang it. Crap. Well, we'll just have to go with it. Oh, well. Um, so let's see, let's do like this, and we will put, how many are there, four? So let's do one, two, three, and four. There we go, that should work. Same amount of thrust on all sides that way. Set this one up for down here. Let me get all turned around, because I'm all confused now. Wait a minute. Which side is up? <laughs> I have this problem. Oh, this is the bottom. That's why it's done in a weird pattern. Okay. Confusion. Alright. So let's hope I've got enough reactors on the inside. So what I'll do is we'll go first person for a second. And let's remove these guys here. I believe the astronaut little dude is not three tall. I knew that. I was just testing you. He is f four tall? Four, four and a quarter? Four and nine eighths? I don't know. Apparently five tall and Three wide, dude. This is a big dude. Okay, why is my mouse stuck? Let's do that. Can I 
come on, man. Let me let me through. There we go. All right. So as you can see, I don't have any lights or anything rigged up. I, oh, I did put a gyro in here. Okay. I was wondering why I was bumping it and it wasn't going away. So I put a bunch of reactors in here. I think this is enough. And this is... I didn't really touch on this too much in the last episode, but um, if a reactor like this is connected to a block and then that block is connected to... Other, what is going on with my mouse? Sorry. Sorry for that. Um it goes up to all the different sides that it's connected to. So, as an example... Oh, I can't put interior lights. Dang it. What are these? Okay, these are reflectors, but they don't light anything up. So I haven't really found a use for them yet. Alright, well, fine then. I guess we, uh... No, crap. Crap. How do I get rid of this? Okay. Looks like I didn't do anything. I had to just click away. I right clicked, which um, is actually destroy. Which is bad. No. Go there. Okay. So, now the moment of truth. So, okay. Um, I've actually done quite a bit of work. I went and got this ship, which was floating over there. I don't know if you remember from the last episode. So I brought him over here. Tried to park. Tried to do a park job. Didn't work very well. Um, I put the little fighter inside the hangar bay there, and apparently they have not... Uh, eventually they're going to add uh, the f magnetism to the landing gears to where they can plant and stick. Apparently that is not there, so as I was flying this, this little dude was jostling around inside the cargo hold and eventually fell out the other side. It was actually kind of funny. Um... What is that? Oh, is that my... That's my big black block. Okay. This was an accidental painting mishap. As you can see, they don't have a... Um, doesn't seem like they have a block distance thing set up yet. As far as how far out you can place blocks. So I was painting and I kind of did one of these with red selected and it did that. Is there a red block? My OCD, sorry. Alright, so the moment of truth. Let's fly the diamond ore block. The diamond ship. Can I, can I fly it? Awesome. Awesome. Do I have enough thrust? Is the next question. I don't think I do. Power usage is good, so I can put more power down. Um, but it doesn't seem to be flying very fast. So let us... Alright. Um, just for testing, since we're heading that direction, let's do one of these. And double, or, or quadruple, triple, triple its power. And then we'll see how good the force of that is. And see if we can keep that. Okay, so that's definitely better. And in case you're wondering what this is, well, let's um, let's finish this off here right quick, and then we'll get to that. Um, that's basically a station. I wanted to test my hand with stations, and since you're in creative mode here, ooh, this 3D thing can get really, really funky. Um, since we're in creative and we don't have a restriction on how many blocks we can use... Um, I went ahead and did, like, a bunch, like, I'm talking a lot of, um, the largest reactors that are available. Kind of a preemptive, I suppose, for, um, if the developers add a, uh, survive, well, when, I guess, is a better term, not if, because they've already said they're going to, the, um, uh, yeah. I know what I'm thinking. The survival mode, where you have to mine and gather things. Um, so essentially, I put a bunch in there in case, like, you know, there's a way to change your current world or something. I'd, I'd have a big base. I don't know. I probably wouldn't end up doing that anyway. 
to be perfectly honest, I would no doubt end up starting a new world because I would want to mine it because that sounds like a lot of fun to me. Um, they've implemented as far as like, um, you can see the hand drill, the welder, grinder, all that kind of stuff. They've already talked about how you're supposed to be able to pick up ores while out and about here. Um, okay, that one's good, that one's good, that one's good. And when you do that, you're supposed to be able to bring it back to um, one of the ore processing blocks or machines. Kind of reminds me of Feed the Beast, actually. It's kind of like a futuristic Minecraft Feed the Beast with flight spaceship mechanics. So I think all of our sides are quadrupled now. So let's test this out again. Okay. Still a little sluggish, but there's a lot of mass to this this guy. Um, so yeah, it's flyable. <laughs> Flying a Minecraft cube. It's pretty great. And that also leads us to this this guy up here. This is what I've been working on uh, a little at a time. It's inspired by a Y-wing from Star Wars. I was trying to make that. It's kind of kind of doing that, kind of not at the same time. It's kind of weird. And this, whoa, picked up a lot of speed there. These two were supposed to be the little pegs that the um, I think it's the fuel injectors or receivers that the uh, Y-Wing has and then I don't know something came over me and I decided to add a third one with a Gatling gun turret around it because that just looked more menacing and when they implement guns it'll be a lot of fun. So there's that. Um, and then this is my my space station at the moment. Um, and you can tell I've been man I've been playing a lot of van uh, vanilla Minecraft with Optifine because I keep hitting control hoping I can zoom in and it doesn't work that way. You can see how many giant reactors I have though. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, but you know what the heck. And I've also been playing around with these interior lights which you can put on a station. You can't put them on a small ship which is actually what the Minecraft cube and this guy is, actually. They're both supposed to be small. I think small is mostly intended for little things like this, and I just ended up building that thing on a bigger scale um, in order to get all the curves and everything that I wanted to make the shape correct. Um, so let's see... Part of the turning mechanics, I think, is also because when you turn... It's like it doesn't activate your thrusters or something. Um, yeah, this thing's, this thing's slow as crap. So, I would... Um, I would do a... Like, thrusters all along the back wall here to make it more powerful, but then it really wouldn't look like you're flying a cube, so would be kind of pointless. Um, but what we are going to do, just for kicks and giggles, so I'm going to save this. Actually, I think there's a way to save it as a different file, I think. So we're going to do that. I'm going to be right back in just a second. Okay, and we're back, and apparently the music is back also. Don't know what that's about. Um... But it's, it's all good. No harm, no foul. Alright, so what we're going to do is cut a fairly large hole in here so that I don't bump anything on the way out. Here's an example of the holding control to delete stuff. And it's red so that you know you're deleting. There we go. Alright. We gotta be careful. And delete the gyro. Okay, good, good, good. This is gonna be really funny. Okay, so now the next step. I'm gonna get rid of these guys. Because I don't want thrusters 
messing up my fun. And you can go, you can go, you can go, you can go, you can go. Um, so I'm going to do a quick speed up real quick as I delete these things and then we'll pick up in a second. If, uh, I don't know if it'll show up after I speed things up or not, but you can see how far the range is on this. Because I accidentally deleted a couple blocks out of my Y-Wing up there. But what we're going to do... I actually want to keep this guy intact, so what we're going to do is launch him towards this. So I need to go grab this ship. Um, and it is interesting. I crashed this guy into something. Or no, that was the one that was bobbing around inside the... Um, the ship, but you can see that it's missing a, a turbo thing, a thruster. And so it's funny because if you if you push back on this one, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can. Oops, still fly this thing or not? Um, but if you like try and turn, which way was it? One of the ways it didn't do as well because it didn't have the same thruster for it. Ooh, this guy's this guy's fun. He flies. Okay. Where's the cube? There's the cube. It looks really funny too. Um I did uh make a backup copy of this world cuz I kind of like the cube there. I'd like to keep him around. But we are going to send him right into this cruiser, which should be really funny. Should be. Um, but let's get him lined up. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh, there he goes! And you can see that uh, the one side of my ship is all busted up, and I put a hole in the cube like that. Oh, is he gonna miss? Come on, don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Dang it. Oh, it's being pulled into the gravity field. Oh, crap. Crap, I can't stop. I can't stop. I can't stop. I forgot about the gravity field. <laughs> okay. Come on, baby. Dang it, it's floating too good. It's doing more than I wanted it to. Maybe into the asteroid? Urgh. Dang it, stop floating down! <laughs> oh gosh. Where do you go? Alright, there we go. That's a good angle. If I can get down, get down, get down! Urgh. So you can, well... It's not really what I wanted to do. Hmm. Alright, I think I'm going to load it back up and I'll be back in a second. Alright, take two. Let's see if we can't do this better than before. Get down. Crap, crap. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Get. Ah. Dang, man. Alright, take two! So apparently I hit save on exit, so it saved what I just did, and this is take three, not two, as I previously mentioned! Alright, go baby, go! Is it going? I think it's going. Yeah, it's going, okay. So let's see what it does. Well... Oh no, it's not going very fast. We're gonna hit it again. It's 
see what happens. That's a heavy thing, apparently. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what happens. If... Whoa! That's okay, I'm trying to make you dizzy. It's no big deal. If we ram it... No! So it's driving it in for... The, oh! I can't tell. I can't tell what's happening. So that was a little underwhelming, but you can still see the mechanics, though. As far as the, um... Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, oh nope. That was not good. Oh, here's a good example. Let's go check out the damage. If I can finagle my way in here. So something's sparking. What is that? Maybe from the outside. It might have worked maybe a little better if it was hollow. I don't know. So it dented some stuff, but it really wasn't going that fast, which is kind of a, a derp on my part. Oh, and the other thing is it's in the gravity field now, so it's hold being held down. Apparently, the gravity does not affect uh, small ships either. And you can, well, there, there's the damage for you right there. I don't know what happens. I don't know if you can blow them up or not. Let's let's find out. Let's try that. We'll use this ship as a battering ram for this one. Cause why not? Cause we can do that. And bail out. <laughs> So as you can see, it's like really dented and debris and stuff floats around, which is kind of cool. Wrong button. Um, there's some scratching, I think, and whatnot. I don't know if that's there or not. But yeah, it loses a lot of its parts and things when it hits. Actually, come to think of it, I don't remember if I even showed this ship or not. Did I? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't think I did. I think... wait. Maybe I showed it when I landed. I don't remember. Um, so there's some stuff here like nuclear reactor um, that when you hit... is it K? K. This shows like all of the control panels for what's there. Small thruster, blah 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 antenna, doors, and you can see blueprints, factions, events, communication, inventory, all these are probably going to be implemented. I'm excited for blueprints, that would be kind of cool. So these are all nuclear reactors, and then uh, I'm gonna go to first person view for a second. That's a little easier, oh, a little easier to see what's going on. Um, and you can hit T on these ladders, and then you'll climb. And you can either get to the bottom, or when you get to the bottom, you hit T and then he'll get off. I do like this in first person that you can actually see your your character. So here's the gyro. And see, all these have keypads. You can't do anything with them right now. But I'm assuming you could turn things on and off later. You have a cargo container. Probably just going to work like a chest in Minecraft. This is a medical facility. Which I think is going to be cool. Wait, why does it say antenna? medical room. You can see it right there. And this is the pilot, which is kind of weird. I don't really know why it's in the back. This is the gravity generator. Cargo container. Yeah, and big ships can have gravity generators. The smaller ships cannot. Um, and then you've got like these windows, which are really neat. I like this idea. And like this, the doors have a keypad, so I'm sure eventually you'll be able to turn them off. I think these are the big reactors. And then this is the cargo hold, like I was talking about, where you can fly in. But the landing gears eventually um, are supposed to be magnetized, which these don't yet. In gravity they work, but um, on like the big ships, when I parked one in there as I was flying, it started flying all over the place and coming apart, so. Um, I think that's all I really got for us this episode. Oh, that's that's one thing. Let me let me grab this guy real quick. 
Um, I did find an ore. Again, they're not really useful at this point simply because there's no way to take advantage of them with a drill or anything like that. Um, stay down. Ooh. But this right here... Ooh. Stopping. This is space, after all. You do have to kind of do momentums. Dang, I got going fast. Um, that when there's no gravity involved, you kind of float. So, let's just go ahead and get out of here. But this is, like, I'm assuming it's gold, I don't, or something. Some chemical that you could eventually mine and use for uh, building and resource gathering. Um, so yeah, I think that'll about wrap it up for this episode. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Hmm. Well. That's bad. I'm glad I didn't hit those. So I was flying in, and I was flying in third person, and it looked like I could clear this, but I was higher than I thought. So this is a good example of the damage, because <laughs> it looks like it blew half of the ship apart, which is awesome, and put a hole in my space station, which is great. So yeah, um, don't always don't always check and make sure you can clear stuff before flying under them. Um, so yeah, uh, we're going for real this time. Peace.